following are excerpts from the films of Becky Galiaga. It is a condensed sampling of Becky's film output throughout the years, from his breakthrough 1982 film Oro Plata Mata until his untimely death in May of 2020. Galiaga's films cover a wide range of genres that have made enduring marks on Philippine popular culture. In the war genre, the larger-than-life Isang Araw Walang Dios begins with a bloody massacre. The film then rapidly regresses into a bloody siege that pits faith against faith, depicting man's brutality in all its gore and inhumanity. The events in the historical film Virgin Forest transpire in the midst of the armed conflict between the First Philippine Republic and the United States. Two American soldiers lead a band of savage warriors recruited from the Makabebe tribe of Pampanga, masquerading as Katipunan soldiers. Their mission? To capture President Emilio Aguinaldo, a film that challenged us to think of ourselves as belonging to a nation and how we as a people conduct ourselves through difficult historical circumstances. The classic Oro Plata Mata presented a vicious upstairs-downstairs drama among aristocrats trapped in the brutal jungle during the Japanese occupation. Set in the distant periphery, of the Second World War's battlefields, the film's sometimes dreamlike narrative recurrently crosses over into the drama genre up to its desolate denouement. The sexually charged Scorpionites that dared to render an anti-fascist message clothed in an edgily brutal cautionary tale that openly mocked the stifling censorship and oppression of the Marcos era. In the family genre, the holiday favorite, Puso ng Pasko, featuring the evil sisters, Jacqueline Jose and Rita Avila. Ngayon din! Lugmayas kayo! and their vain efforts to crush the dwindling Christmas spirit in the hearts of a dysfunctional Filipino family. A roller coaster ride of spirit crushing disappointments and heartwarming miracles. Becca's quirky comedy, top billed by the bad boys of Philippine showbiz, begins in the coral-rich waters of the Hundred Islands of Pangasinan. Somehow teleports into the Nevada desert. We are, in other words, more or less, not in the Hundred Islands. <laughs> and peaks in a chaotic brawl. Just as eccentric within the comedy genre is Pinoy Blonde. Pekka's tongue-in-cheek homage to film icons Broca and Bernal. Anong pangalan mo? Smile Bernal. Ako naman si Marilu Diaz Abaya. Featuring Tour de Force performances by Ricky Davao and Eddie Garcia. For all you lonely lovers out there, no. 
akala ko ang wagas na pagibi. Although ostensibly falling under the horror genre, many episodes that he wrote and directed in the hit series Shake, Rattle and Roll displayed the Yagas outlandish brand of humor. How ako mga itlog mo? You may kiss the brother. Perhaps the finest specimen of Kalyaga's mastery of the adventure genre is the fantasy film Magic Temple, a fable whose unabashed call for national unity resonates in the hearts of its fans to this day. <laughs> An enthralling adventure that will forever live in the collective memories of every parent and child who saw the original release in the 1990s who, when it comes to it, can still belt out a word-perfect rendition of that timeless hit song. Coming early in his directing career, Galiaga's high-budgeted fantasy film once Upon a Time starred Filipino cinema giants Dolphy and Gloria Romero. Instead of simply rehashing the tale of our grandmother's favorite bogeyman, Peke imbued Dolphy's Tikbalang with an excess of cowardice Kalahati tao, kalahati kabayo, kalahati tao para makapag-isip. Kalahati kabayo para tumakbo ng mabilis bago mag-isip. Hindi ka duwa ganyan. Ganyan na tulad sa aming mga tigbalang. And just a touch of heroism that, in the end, saves the day for a gang of contemporary kids who find themselves trapped in the malevolent netherworld. And finally, of course, the horror. The horror. Galiaga first demonstrated his unrivaled command of the genre with the very first shake, rattle, and roll. From that portentous beginning, many other film classics in the horror genre followed. The iconic Diana, where Impeke touches on the feminist element, anchoring the film's essence on a mother's plea for a change of heart in the infant beast. Many of Galiaga's fantasy and horror films are audacious reimaginings of old Filipino myths. But his unflagging quest for the unique and the innovative has bestowed on Philippine cinema a host of original creatures and myths that are profoundly suffused with Filipino traditional values. Peke Galiaga's eclectic library of films evidence an artistic journey of transcendence of the commercial, coupled with persistent incursions into the social psychology of the Filipino as a people. I'm totally surrounded by Botox, collagen, Glutathione. Hey, Ram. I'm from France. Who's the name frog legs? You want to see the rake? 
ma, buwang to siya. Peke Galyag is an eclectic library of films, evidence an artistic journey of transcendence of the commercial, coupled with persistent incursions into the social psychology of the Filipino as a people. He leaves with us a venerable body of work that may, on the surface, seem like mere entertainment, but in essence, represents a true patriot's humble contributions to the eternal discourse of a people's identity, ideals, and aspirations. Mama